So, um, big mountains. I guess this, of course, will lead into some other things, but really big mountains. Um, you know, Pakistan, you know, Alaska. What what is it about big mountains? Because you know, I guess I guess the setup for this question really is alpinism, mountaineering is a lot of things, mm -hmm. and big mountains are just another aspect of that. Yeah, you know, bouldering to me is sort of the opposite. It's a little mountain, and you're having this relationship with this tiny little mountain. Mm -hmm. What is it about big mountains for you? Um. I mean, inspiration is a funny thing, right? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's like what inspires us as individuals mm -hmm. is, is something that's, I think, a really uh, introspective and personal question. And, uh, and I think that, you know, for me, I find big mountain terrain to be incredibly inspiring. And... You know, I think that I think that part of that comes from, you know, a, a love for geography, a love for geology. Mm. <clears throat> um, some yeah. of that comes from, you know, just just they're so they're so big, and they're you know if we're you know like, you know if we were to compare if we were to compare the big mountains of the world or the big walls of Yosemite or you know whatever to to these you know the the spires of like a gothic cathedral mm -hmm. in France. I think there are some really, some really strong parallels. Yeah. And it's you know, it's, so it's, I feel like it's this idea of these like high places and and them being these really powerful zones is something that's you know been around for a long time. Yeah. And it's something that I feel, um, you know, very strongly. Yeah. And uh, and I'm not a religious guy. Um, Mildly, mildly spiritual, but um, but yeah, I feel I feel a really deep connection to those natural spaces, yeah. and it's really interesting. I mean, it's like it's it, the whole climbing thing is turned into this kind of search for this particular route, this particular mountain, this particular experience, and uh, and I really I really feel like every expedition I go on is like going and finding opportunities to like find that that you know another example of that perfect route and occasionally find it and occasionally it all mm -hmm. it all comes together and you have the right conditions the right partner the right route you know you're there and mm. uh and yeah. you're able to, you're able to do it that's interesting and that's 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 the like moment that i'm always seeking but but that's really interesting to me because i think a lot of people will say wow you go and you get you're going to be eight weeks in country and you're going to get 10 days of climbing? Are you insane? You know, but I guess the stakes are higher. The chances of success are lower. I don't know. I, it sounds like a quote from a movie here. You know, you know, certain death. What is it? And there's something. Sure. It's from the, the, the Princess Bride. No. Oh, certain oh. death, <laughs> you know, almost, you know, it, it'll never, it, 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 you know, chances of success are very low. Certain death is, is almost guaranteed. Let's go. Yeah. I, I mean, but, but what I was really trying to say before I got, got taken off on, the, on, a, on a tangent was. Before we went to the Princess Bride. Before the Princess Bride, which is a really great movie. By the way. But, um, but it, it, it seems like you can have this, this, um, this peak experience by, I didn't mean that, that was a pun not intended. Now I'm all over the place. You can have a peak experience from a, from a uh, you know, you can have this peak experience only if all those things come together, that the mm -hmm. weather, the mountain allows you to be there. Mm -hmm. And so then the, then the experience is, is exponentially greater, mm -hmm. I would think. At, at least in my experience, that's been the case. And it sounds like that's the, yeah, you know, that it's, Wow, if if they really do all come together, it could be really powerful. Yeah, and for me, I mean, you know, and this is, you know, everybody's different, but for me, something that's really hard is really worthwhile. Yeah. You know, and like sometimes things end up being easy, and that's awesome. All right. But when you, you know, when you, you know, achieve yeah. something that really, really pushes pushes you hard, 
Yeah. It feels really good. Yeah. And uh, it's and it's interesting. I mean, like we're constantly out there looking for that route that is steep, that is a uh, convexity, so mm-hmm. things that fall down the mountain are shedding away from it. Um, that is aesthetically inspiring, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, and has you know good looking climbing on it. Is hmm. you know there you know there's not they're not everywhere, right? You know, there there are. You sound like an artist, oh. S- seriously. And I've always been interested in this. There's this artistic side of this. That sounds to me like an artist talking about. I mean, I'm a photographer. You talk in terms of of sort of art there, and I I don't I don't quite still after just spending my whole adult life in the outdoors mm-hmm. I still can't quite nail it down yeah it's this really ethereal thing mm-hmm. right oh yeah you know, man I, I mean the, the the as 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 skiers as climbers as it's, you know anybody who spends the time in the mountains the mountains are a palette on which to mm. you know draw draw a line yeah and uh and it's something I think to really take seriously like where do you want to where do you want to draw your line how do you want to do it? What risks? Yeah. What risks do you want to take while you're doing it? Yeah. And um, and it's you know I th- I think about this trip that we had to Alaska and this is Mark Allen and myself in 2011. We we were like had seen this cool peak. We went took us a whole bunch of effort. We climbed it, and uh, it was really neat. But we looked down valley, and it's and there it is. <laughs> just the thing we've been looking for. Really? Yeah, it's, and it ended up being the north, the northeast buttress of uh, Mount Lawrence. Oh, um, right. And that we climbed, right. that we later climbed in 2013. But yeah. it was just like, you know, you're constantly like, we're just poking around in these remote parts of the Alaska Range, and it was just like, there it is, you know, holy shit. And then you went and did it. Yeah, and two years, yeah, and two years later we went and did it. That is such, to me, that, and I was going to ask you, you know, the, for me, it's the remoteness that I, that I got onto. You know, I, I I ended up after a couple trips on Denali in the 80s. During the 90s, all I wanted to do was go to some place I had never heard of mm-hmm. that no one else cared about. Mm-hmm. I really wanted that remote experience. Yeah. And I found that in the in the Wrangell St. Elias. For me, skiing it didn't really matter for me how steep it was. Yeah. You know, a little different than you. And, and, and other people, um, the late great photographer Carl Skoog, mm-hmm. um, a Seattleite, fantastic guy who was killed in Ecuador, died in Ecuador, skiing off of the highest peak in Ecuador. We lost him, I don't know, 10 years ago. But he, he, was, he was on that trip, and I know he, he felt um, he wanted to ski steeper stuff than I did. What I really wanted was that remoteness, that mm-hmm. feeling of, we're the only ones within a hundred miles. There is no one else here. The yeah. only person that knows, the only person that knows where we are is our pilot, and I hope he comes back. <laughs> yeah. So you talk about you know the artistic line and everything, and you just use the word remote. Is mm-hmm. that is that something that's important for you? That it's oh yeah, totally. Oh, I mean remote. Yeah, I mean it's like I think Chamonix is super cool. Right. G- a great course. example. But great example. I would way rather go climb in a remote part of the Karakoram and go to Chamonix. And to your point earlier, it means a lot more days of climbing when you're in Chamonix and you have telefreaks and there's a lot of right. like good information. Yep. There are routes that are established. Yep. You have beta, you know. Right. You got the guidebook and you've got a day pack and you can go back up and have it. I'm not, I don't, I, and I don't mean, to, oh, man. I'm sure you don't either. This is all, this is, this is all, this is, this, is, this is all very much personal choice, right? Right. It's, you know, boy, this, there's something about that remoteness. It's, that, oh, I, I get a huge kick out of it. Yeah.